graph. That means now you need to learn learn to read graph already. Just now quadratic graph is you need to know how to sketch the graph. So now you need to know how to read the graph. So this is called a DT graph. Okay, so this is the DT graph. Distant time graph. Okay. How do you read this graph? So this graph means this is this is the time axis uh, in hour. This is the distance axis in kilometer. So how do you read? At zero hour, so let's say this point. Uh, this point means zero hour zero kilometer. Okay? Then what about this point? This point is one hour forty kilometer. Does it make sense? Then if you want to read this point, this is two point five hour sixty kilometer. Right? Okay, good. So that's how you read. Point by point. Okay? And besides all this, I will say for this graph, there are three scenarios. There are three scenarios. The first scenario is this. I call it the phrase one. Over here, I call it the phrase two. Then from this onwards, I call it the phrase three. And I will tell you why I put it into phase one, phase two, and phase three. You know what's the meaning of phase? I think it's fr it's not phrase. It's phase. You know what's the meaning of phase? Like which stage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So stage one, stage two, stage three. Do you know why I've put this one is my stage one, and this one is my stage two and stage three? Because can you see stage one is a is a up straight line is a, in a way is a slope up right and suddenly phase two is a flat line can you see that so so this is called slope up so phase two is a flat line can you see okay phase three is a slope up but this slope up is The phase three, the slope up, uh, is more st is steeper than the phase one. So I need to distinguish these two. Okay, so that's how I split into phase. Okay, so once I split into three phases, then I analyze I analyze each phase by each phase. Now, what's happening here for phase one? So let's zoom into phase one analyze phase one alone so phase one probably you can analyze it this way as zero hour is zero kilometer right right then what about a one hour is 40 kilometer right and this is the end of phase one, right? Which is 1.5 hour and it's 60 kilometer. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So now, the question you ask yourself is, if zero hour is zero kilometer, one hour is 40 kilometer, 1.5 hour is 60 kilometer, do you, so in it, so, I think all these points uh, tells you that as time passes, the car is moving, right? Right? Why is it moving? Because as time passes, the distance also increases. Right? Can you see? One hour is forty, 
1.5 hour 60 kilometer so you know so basically the time when time passes the distance increases so therefore it means the car is moving uh, right am I right or not so but by the way when you read when you read when you read like as time passes the distance increases this basically shows that the car is moving right so similarly I analyze phase 2 so now I, I want to analyze phase 2 huh? So phase two. This this point, huh? This point is this point. Okay. This point is this point. Okay. So this point is your one point five hour and sixty kilometer, right? This is your two hour. And what's the distance here? So two hour. What's the distance? Yeah, 2 hours 16. So this point is 2.5 hour. So that's the end of phase 2. So 2.5 hour was the kilometer? Still 60 kilometer, right? Yeah. So as time passes, for phase 2, uh, you need to describe. So as time passes, distance what happened? stays what happened? the same yeah stays the same yeah stays the same so what this means so the car is moving pause or slowing down Two o'clock, you are here. Three o'clock, you are here. Three thirty, you are here. Pause. Pause. Yeah. So the car is, the car, the car is idle. Or not moving. Okay. Easy to understand, right? So now they ask find the duration during which the car is not moving. From when to when is not moving. One point five hours starting is sixty kilometer. Two point five hour also six. Two by five hour also sixty kilometer. So it means in between here is not moving, right? It stays the same, right? So therefore two by five minus one point five hours, so that means the duration is two by five hour minus one point five, which is one hour. That explains part one. Okay? Simple? Now find the average speed of the car in the first two hours of journey. First two hours, right? First, the first two hours is what? The first two hours is here, right? Can you see? So we 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 finish analyzing the 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 the, the, the phase one and phase two. Of course, we analyze the phase three the same way. Okay, so we are done with this. Now we are going to part two. Huh? So find the average speed. So now we focus on this part. First two hours means until zero to two. Lah. So basically you need to analyze the the, the, the the graph accordingly. So it happened to until two hours. So average speed average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time. So what's the total time? Two hour, right? Right? What's the total distance? Start from zero. Go to forty. Go to sixty. Here also sixty. 
so what's the lower distance? Start from zero. This is zero. So let me use a different color. This is zero kilometer. This is forty kilometer. This is sixty kilometer. Ah, uh, this one also sixty kilometer. So the car travel how much? How 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 long? No. The car only travel sixty kilometer. Are you going to add up all? No, no. Are you going to add up all? Are you supposed to add up all? No. You are not supposed to add up all. You know why you are not supposed to add up all? Because what's the meaning of this is this. So one, one more time, huh? So when you should add up and when you should not. So they ask for the average speed in the first two hours, right? So you just ask yourself, when it's two hours, what's the distance? 60 kilometer, right? This point, I don't basically you just read this point, right? Right? So the total distance is 60 kilometer. And the total time is two hours. So therefore, you just divide, then you get 30 kilometer per hour. So that's the second answer. Clear? Clear or not? If they ask for the... This is for the first two hours, okay? Okay? What if they ask for the first one hour? So what you do? You go to the one hour, you read. So at this point, this is one hour and 40 kilometer, right? Right? So therefore, according to the formula, 40 kilometer divided by one hour. So the average speed equals to 40. Can you see its difference? And it's supposed to be different. Okay? So I have done part two. Okay, part three. Find the average speed for the whole journey. So for the whole journey, it's also very simple. Whole journey, how many hours? Whole journey, how many hours? Two by five, right? Yeah. So that means you are supposed to read this point. What is this point? 3.5 hour and 120 kilometer, right? Sub in. Total distance, 120. Time, 3.5 hour. Can you help me out? Thirty-four point three. Is it a good num uh good number? A round up. Uh, can you give me a fixed number, exact one? Thirty-four over two over seven. Two over seven is it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So if you can give me an exact one, give me an exact one. Okay. So now, done for the part three. They say sketch the speed time graph. That means given this ah. Uh, Given this distance time, now you need to convert it to a speed time. How do you convert? So that's what what they are asking. So did we did we not talk about this is phase one, this is phase two, this is phase three. Okay? So you just ask yourself, what is your phase one phase one speed? Okay? Phase one speed is just now. What? How do we find the average speed? Total distance divided by total time, right? Right. Yeah. So for phase one, ah, uh, is this point, ah, uh, is one point five hour, sixty kilometer, right? Right. Right. Yeah. So you just put it in sixty divided by one point five. So what's the answer? Can you give me? I think it's forty. 
Mm. So it's 40 kilometer per hour. So that's my phase one speed. Phase two. Phase two. What happened to phase two? Ah, uh, actually. Phase two got any speed or not? No. Why not? Because it's not moving. Make sense? Yeah. So not moving. Uh, so the speed in a way is zero. Okay. So phase phase three. Phase three is. Okay. So for this one, uh, for phase three, in a way, right, to find this. Okay. So now, probably I need to give you the, the idea how to find the phase one speed, phase two speed, and phase three speed. Okay. The way to do it is this. It's, it's not this. I mean, you can use this, but I should give you the formula. So just go back and memorize. To find phase 1 speed, phase 2 speed, and phase 3 speed, right? You just need to find the the gradient 1, the gradient 2, and then this gradient 3. Okay? How do you find gradient 1? So gradient 1 is y1 minus y2, x1 minus x2, right? Right? Yeah. So this point is your, so you need to find two points. Uh. So this point is your 0, 0. Then this point is your 1.5 and 60, right? Mm -hmm. This point. Right? Yeah. So it's a sub in, no? So 60 minus 0. Then uh, 1.5 minus 0. So 60 divided by 1.5, so this is 40 kilometer per hour so like I say this one uh, fat line fat line gradient means zero okay not moving uh. okay so for this one same thing get the two point what is the first point here this is 2.5 and 60 what is this point this point is 3.5 oh I have it above it's 3.5 and 120 can you see that So 120 minus 60, 3.5 minus 2.5, 60 divided by 1, so it's 60 kilometer per hour. Okay, good. So you have the speed already. So once you have the speed, you can sketch already the speed time graph. Because they want the speed time graph, huh? Right? Yeah. Mm. So I just put the numbers here first because I need them. So I use your ruler. So this is speed time, right? So I mean this is the speed. What's the unit for speed? Kilometer per hour. Time, right? What's the unit for uh, time? Hour, right? So phase one speed is forty. So straight away go for so go forty lor. So forty until one point five hour. Can you see? So the time, the timeline will be the same. The timeline will be the same. So it's still 1, 2, 3, and then you have the 3 by 5. So the timeline will be the same. 1.5 it will reach for 40 until 1.5. Okay? So this is your phase 1. Okay? Then for phase 2, the speed is 0, right? From when to when? From 1.5 to 2.5, the speed is zero. Can you see this part? Yeah. So you know, from 1.5 to 2.5, right, the speed is zero. Zero is here. So here. So you want to differentiate it? Use different color. So this is from zero to 1.5, and this is from 1.5 to 2.5. So this is your phase two. Phase three is 60, right? Phase three is from when to when? Phase three is 2.5 to 3.5. So that means from here to here. I should go to 60. 60, right? So 60 is here. So.
so this is 16 so this is my phase 3 so this is your completed speed time graph okay